Welcome back everyone to more career mode gameplay of SRX The Game. And in today's video we're headed to Durango Park. And those of you who have been around a while know this is my favorite track in the game. Now it's been in the previous Tony Stewart games as well. Uh, and it's my favorite track for a few reasons. Number one, it's plenty wide. You've got lots of racing room here. It's four tenths of a mile, which is sort of right on the edge of what I enjoy in the game. The tracks that are too long, seem, they seem to be just full throttle. Everybody spreads out and it's not as much fun. But you get the shorter tracks uh, that are around a third mile, four tenths, you know, somewhere in that range. Uh, and it seems like a great balance of speed as well as great racing. And then of course, it is a stadium type atmosphere. Now it's enclosed, so you're racing indoors, which adds a whole different element uh, to it, but I really, really enjoy this track. So it's not a lot of banking there. It's essentially flat overall, but four tenths of a mile, plenty of speed, and should be some great racing. Now let's head over to the garage. We don't have to do any repair work, but I'm gonna go ahead and repair everything just so we can keep everything exactly where we need it. Now we got 162 grand in the bank. And as I mentioned at the end of last video, I believe that's enough to do our last upgrade uh, to the super late engine, which will, I believe, finish that car off. Uh, our loading screen taking a little bit longer than, than normal. So I'm gonna click on continue the season and we're gonna go to the super late. So now the season there is done, but I want to see about the engine. So you notice here, we followed a similar path with the upgrades as we have with the uh, Dirt Late model. So let's hop in here, go to level three, and sure enough, yeah, we needed 144 grand, and that is what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and spend that money, purchase and equip that, hop back over to the level two, sell that one. Okay, so we're now at 43 grand. And that, if we hop back out, is our final upgrade for this car. So that means in the future, we'll be able to do some more events and we'll be on even keel with the rest of the AI. So now let's hop back out, see how long that loading screen is again. Not sure exactly why it needs to be this long, but the game goes about that in some weird ways. So we'll hop back into the dirt lates and hey, another loading screen. So <laughs> that one's a little quicker. All right, so here we've done our repair work. Uh, we could send our driver, Kendra, but not a chance in the world we're doing that. Practice and qualifying are in the books, and there is definitely a lot more speed there than I got. The 12.8, 12.85, uh, that range, there's a few more tents for sure available there. But we're going to go with just the limited time I spent in practice running, you know, two, three, four laps there and qualifying together so I believe we're in pretty good shape here we're just inside the top 10 on speed about three tenths off the pole so let's see how it works out top five advance straight to the A main but we want in that qualifying dash to set ourselves up for success in the A main so let's see if we've got enough speed to hang with these guys and we want to the bottom but we're not going to be able to get there just yet Oh, he didn't give me any room there. I was really hoping he was going to sling wide there and I was going to be able to get underneath him. All right, let's see if we can sling right through him. Can he do the crossover on me? Drove it in too deep there. So I had to sort of back my way out of that. So you can easily run this track wide open if you so choose. I am not doing that simply because I feel like I get a little bit better control of the car on entry by just pedaling it a little bit more just so that I get the car pointed where I want it and on the line that I want it. Made a couple of changes to the setup uh, just to try some things out and just sort of see see how it was going to work and so far I kind of like it. Don't know what the lap times are because I haven't been paying attention but uh, I feel like they're as good if not better than what I was running in the few laps of practice.
Yeah, this track is so wide. You are not going to run out of room to race at this place. Now, is there a high groove out there if you get really wide? Here at this track, it's not really a high groove, it's a, a wide groove. Look in front of us, they're running, I think, four wide up here. All right, contrary to what it might have looked like, I didn't touch that guy. <laughs> I, was, I was close. All right, so we'll take home the win here in heat number four. That was actually not as challenging as I thought it was going to be. Um, because we just qualified inside the top ten, like in eighth, I believe, is what that was, which would make sense given where we started the heat race. But now, let's see where we really stack up when we get into the qualifying dash. All right, the qualifying dash determines our starting position for the A main. So we're going to be on the outside of row two. So that's going to make it interesting to get to the bottom. We don't have a ton of laps here. I did make one quick adjustment to the car to actually tighten it up a little bit. Uh, slow down the rotation of the car. Uh, we'll see if that helps or hurts. Should give me a, a bit more control. I talk about that a lot in these videos and that's because when you're on the track around the other cars in traffic, uh, control is paramount because it doesn't do you any good to be fast if you can't control it. If you can't hold your line, then uh, yeah, that's going to be no fun. And that's why multiplayer racing is so hit and miss, mostly miss for me. Because you get a lot of guys who, oh, hello, that was contact. So I left the door open, and this guy says he is coming through. Ouch. All right, so we've got another guy out here that's definitely got the speed. Oh, bumps got me there. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see if we can finish this thing off. But yeah, the multiplayer racing, I like to throw this in every now and again. Uh, for multiplayer in any, whether you're talking this game or iRacing or the NASCAR Heat Series or whatever it might be, if you can't hold your line, then multiplayer racing against other drivers, it's just going to be a disaster. And that's what too many people don't seem to understand. Everybody wants that fast lap time, but they forget that, number one, there's a lot of other people on the track so you can't always run exactly where you want to run. And then number two, it's not a one-lap race. All right, so we'll bring home the victory in the qualifying dash, which, again, once that guy came up to pass us, uh, I was pretty sure he was going to run away with it, but he chose to run higher and didn't seem to have that same speed once he got back to us. So we're looking pretty good as we advance into the A main. All right, so here in the A main, uh, I've left the setup with that last change that tightened it up a little bit more. Again, I don't know if that makes us faster or slower uh, overall, but I do know that it gives me more control over the car. Oh, look out. Well, when you get down on the apron here, that's definitely going to help the car rotate, and it's also going to allow people to get to your inside. All right, he's spinning the tires coming off the corner, so I could get back by him. So that's that's an easy thing to do. You get the car too loose, especially if you're trying to run it wide open, and you're just spinning the tires coming off the corner. Yeah, and what I've been doing here, these adjustments that I've talked about today, I've been adding a little bit of nose weight to the car, a little bit of front weight, uh, because it tightens the car up. It just stabilizes the car a little bit, uh, because as fun as it is to run these things sideways, ultimately, 
having the steering wheel at top dead center is going to give you the best speed. So if you can get the car turned in the corner and then you're spending more time with the car, uh, the steering wheel very close to the center, instead of turning it to the left or to the right very much, then that's going to be more speed. Right now I am turning uh, probably on entry, I'm definitely turning it in between uh, about 30 to 40 degrees to get the car, to catch the car as it rotates, but uh, once we get into the center of the corner and on exit, it's less. It's probably 25 to 30 degrees that I'm turning the car. And that's just to control the right rear. So it could stand to be a little bit tighter here but not a whole lot. This, I feel like this is a pretty good balance for right now. All right, 31 laps to go, and that's music to my ears because longer races, more fun for me. Once again, have no idea where second place is and really don't want to know. We're just going to run this thing, have some fun, and see what happens. Three wide in front of us. Plenty of room for that at this track. And they all go wide into the corner, so nobody took the low line. Thank you very much. So you can hear me about at the start finish line. So about halfway down the straightaway or so is where I am blipping the throttle, tapping the brake just a little bit to point the nose and settle the car. And then I'm right back into the gas. That changes a little bit, of course, when you're in traffic, but for the most part, that's the way I'm driving this thing. And if I get into the corner really good and smooth, then I can get back to the gas and be full throttle for the remainder of the corner down into the next straightaway. If I don't, uh, then I'm going to have to feather it a little bit to try to get the car where I want it. But right now, car's doing what I need it to do. I'm trying to be patient with this lap traffic because for the most part, they're giving me the bottom. If I'll just give them a lap or so, they'll they'll open up the bottom. So right now I see 10th in front of us. So we're lapping uh, pretty quickly here. I was not expecting to lap up to 10th this quick into the race. Of course, I have no idea how many laps we've run. Oh, got down a little too low there. hear me gas it up right there uh, but just before the center of the corner that's because I had gotten the car a little tight and gassing it up helped me to free the car up and get it rotated that's my preferred method of driving the car I prefer to drive these cars and really any car for that matter as much as I can I prefer to drive it with the throttle more so than anything because if you can turn the car with the throttle then that gives you a lot of options All right, so at this track, you'll notice every once in a while I'll go down to the very bottom, but I'm trying to stay away from the very bottom uh, for the most part, unless I need to, like right there, simply because it's a lot rougher down there. If you give it about a half lane off the very bottom, it's extremely smooth, but you get real close to the apron down there and it becomes very bumpy. Overall, not a huge issue, but if you don't need to be down there, and every once in a while, it's nice to have a little break from the bumps. All right, so we are where in the game? All right, 16 laps. And once again, as, as I usually do, I lose track of where we are on the laps remaining. So here in a few laps, look out. Oh, how did we get through that? Because the car to our inside, who ended up to our inside, he spun out. The guy that was to our outside also got sideways and somehow we managed to get through that. Now I didn't want to see that caution. It looks like we got five cars left on the lead lap. Oh, that's fewer than I would have thought. But hey, we'll take it. That's fewer cars that can come after the lead. Alright, let's see if anybody's got anything for us here. Ooh, I slid that a little bit wider than I wanted to.
yeah, if you start to, if you get down there too low and start to hit those bumps and it's actually disrupting the car, then just simply ease off the gas a little bit. And for me, I find that that generally takes care of it. It just calms the car back down. So not a huge deal. But again, if you find that the front end gets to hopping, then that's a way that you can do something about it. The five cars on the lead lap, and that's all, in how many laps? What was that, 25, 30 laps, something like that, that we had run? is wow it's a bit unbelievable considering we were only eight on the speed chart in qualifying but yeah i could just run laps at this track all day long doesn't matter which position i'm running in i'm just running laps and having fun all right let's move that a little bit see what's out here Oh, seven laps to go. I have no idea where second place is. Haven't even bothered to look. This track is a stark contrast to Diamond Grove where we were just at in the last video. So different. trying to look right now as we go into our last few laps I'm really trying to look and see if there are any lap or lead lap cars so anybody in the top five that we're catching I wouldn't think we would catch them this quick but you never know apparently we were catching cars pretty quick all right down to the last few laps let's see how many we got left when we come to the stripe all right, two to go. All right. Again, if they wanted to add 20 more laps on here, I'd be perfectly fine with it. Zero problem. In fact, I wish they would add that to the option slider in the game and give us the opportunity to go beyond what would be 100%. Let us run like 200% races or 300. I mean, there's no tire wear. There's nothing to worry about in the game as far as that goes. I mean, we're not burning fuel. So... More laps, the better, but we bring home the victory, and that was actually much easier than I thought it was going to be. You can see there, even after the caution, we still ended up with, what, almost a four-second lead at the end, and yeah, we were definitely pulling away from those guys. So that'll do it for today's race. Only five cars on the lead lap. That still boggles my mind. All right, so the victory, that certainly is going to help us in the overall point standings and just as i say that we move into the lead now i forgot who the guy was that was in the lead in the point standings let's actually go back out there again uh okay so our victories give us 696 points we now have a five point lead over eddie wright now eddie wright where did he finish ninth position okay so the, yeah that definitely helped our cause because he was somewhere around 20 points ahead of us but yeah that is a big difference and we are now in the lead in the points. That is hard for me to believe because it just doesn't seem like it's been that sort of a season so far. So we'll bring home the entire 18 grand for the race purse, plus our sponsor and merch payouts, 28,473. That's gonna do it for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me and stick around for more SRX.